Got another question for the organic conversions playlist. So we're on to number 20 now. And the only thing I'm going to say about this one is beware the order. Because if you do it in the wrong order, you won't get the right answer. So just bear that in mind. Uh, as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. And I hope you like the video. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do so. Okay, so make a start. So the fundamental thing in this question is you start with something with three carbons in it and you finish with something with four carbons in it. So we've got to grow the carbon chain by one carbon. So we're going to need to involve the creation of the nitrile functional group. So I was wondering what the best way to do this video was, to be honest with you. And so what I've decided on doing is going through couple of different ways to successfully synthesize compound Z and then I'll finish with what happens if you did it in the wrong order. So for the first run through I'm changing the haloalkane group into a nitrile group so I've got that extra carbon that I need and the way I'm going to do this I'll run through it like a flow chart first of all and then I'll answer the question with the equations and everything they've asked for uh, on the lined paper. So you'd need to react that with something like potassium cyanide or you could use sodium cyanide, but it would need to be in ethanol. Next thing I'm doing is I'm turning the alkene group into this bromoalkane group. And the way I do that is just react it with HBr. And the last thing I'm doing is reducing this nitrile group to the amine group, generating compound Z. And the way I do that is react it with hydrogen in the presence of a nickel catalyst. So in terms of an answer, there it is there. So step one, we've got the reaction of the um, haloalkane with the KCN in ethanol. And there's intermediate one. The other product's going to be KBr in this case. Step two, so I'm taking that intermediate one and I'm reacting the carbon-carbon double bond with the HBr to generate the bromoalkane group. So that's my intermediate two. Um, step three, so I'm reducing the nitrile group into the um, amine group. So I'm gonna need two moles of hydrogen to do that. And that's the equation there. Now I did say I would go through other possible ways to do this. So here's another way. I'm going back to the flow chart and then I'll write up the equations like I did last time. So it starts the same as the previous method. So we turn in the haloalkane group into the nitrile group to grow that carbon chain. But for this next method, I'm reacting intermediate one with hydrogen in the presence of a nickel catalyst. And that's gonna actually react with the alkene group and turn it into an alkane, but it'll do the same as it did before with the nitrile group and turn that into the uh, amine. So to then turn the alkane part into the haloalkane part, we're going to need to react it with bromine, but in the presence of UV. So in terms of a sequence of steps with uh, equations, it's going to look like this. So step one, exactly the same, intermediate one's the same as before. So step two now, remember, we're reacting this with uh, hydrogen but you'll notice that the number of moles of hydrogen has gone up from two to three because a mole of hydrogen is needed to react with the CC double bond, two moles needed for the nitrile to amine conversion. And then from intermediate two, which is this here, uh, to the product, bromine and UV. And finally, as promised, here's how not to do it. So I'm reacting this with HBr first. So you can see I've generated this haloalkane part um, where the double bond was. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grow that carbon chain by reacting with the KCN in ethanol. But the problem with doing it this way is you're gonna get two nitrile groups here. So we want that one there. We do not want that one there. So this is the wrong way to do it.